crevices of your heart, it burns fierce like sulfur as it forces love to depart, causing only the mention of a name to consume you with hate as its poison wreaks havoc on the next generation's fate. This grudge festers on, keeping you imprisoned in pain, causing every life force around you to bear the effects of your strain. For hate and love cannot reside in one heart, just as hate takes a family and tears it all apart. Almost 50% of first marriages and 60% of second marriages end in divorce. This means half. Half of the people you know have went through the turmoil of a divorce. And if by some chance you have never met anyone affected by a divorce, now you have. That is why I have chosen to read this compilation of poems titled Stages of Grief by Laura McBride, John O'Donoghue, Justin, and Alex O. Though we need to weep your loss, you dwell in that safe place in our hearts where no storm or night can reach you. Your love was like the dawn, brightening over our lives, awakening beneath the dark, a further adventure of color. The sound of your voice found for us a new music that brightened everything. Whatever you unfolded in your gaze quickened in the joy of its being. Smiles like flowers on the altar of the heart. Your mind always sparkled with wonder at things. We look towards each other no longer in the old distance of our names. Now you dwell inside the rhythm of breath as close to us as we are to ourselves. A letter from a father to his daughter. I lay here and think of how pretty you are. Daddy's little angel shines like a star. I'm sorry this happened to your little heart that mommy and daddy had to split apart. One day, I just hope you will see all I ever wanted was my family. But your mommy and daddy were never meant to be. I just pray this doesn't affect your life because it kills me inside to not have my wife. We had our ups and downs. Now all I get is a small, simple frown. It's hard to write this for you because a family's love is all that you knew. Don't cry, baby girl, because your daddy loves you. A daughter's perspective on divorce. I 